Hello guys, my name is Mosile Adebayo and this is my first YouTube video. I want to take you guys through this Southwest Airline on-time performance and flight delay dashboard that I built for the month of May 2022. I could only analyze the mod data set because of the capacity of my laptop. I got the data set from the US Bureau of Transportation Statistics and this is the link to to download the data set if you are interested is a very unique product project that you can add to your portfolio so let's just get started let's go to the executive summary so what do i actually mean by on time it basically means that if a aircraft if a flight is scheduled to depart at 8 o'clock and eventually depart at 8.15. That flight can be considered to be on time. Or if a flight is also scheduled to arrive at the destination at 9 o'clock and eventually arrive at 9.15, that flight can be considered to be on time. So for the month of May, Southwest Airline scheduled 108,000 plus flights. And they eventually operate 107,000 flights. They had 719 fleets for the month of May, and they eventually cancel 809 flights. It takes an average of 20, 12 minutes for their aircraft to taxi out of their respective airport. So let's just go on to the main report. Have your I have this chart here showing the total flight by airport. And just like you, I actually don't know the meaning of DEN, LAS, MDW, DAL. But when you over over the chart here, you will see that DEN is Denver International Airport, LAS is McCarran Airport, MDW is Chicago Midway, DAL is Dallas Love Feed. And when we go to the Denver airport, we can see that the average departure delay is seven, 17 minutes and it takes an average of 14 minutes for the aircraft to taxi out. Of course, it's only wise that we see the OTP leader for the month. We have Corpus Christi having a 94.83 on-time performance. On the bottom left here, I have a Denver visual that shows the daily on-time performance and we can see in the rank going from 60% to 85%. When we look at this whitish on-time result, we can see it's ranking 62%, 60%. And when we look at this greenish one, we can see it's ranking between 85% and 84%. Also, this fleet composition visual is something that is, I find so interesting. So during the course of this research, I got to know that Southwest Airline is the biggest operator of the Boeing aircraft. So I thought, wow, it will be nice for me to actually see the breakdown of this Boeing aircraft that they own. So I got this data set from the from this website called planespotter.com. I actually scrapped the website for the information. So when you come here and filter the view and pick any of your favorite airline here this view is going to be blank i just want you to be aware of that so we can also see that um for the month of may auckland to bogbog and bogbog back to auckland seems to be their most flown route of course it's only wise that we also see the how southwest airline compete we did other commercial airline for the month of May. As at the time I was doing this report, only 17 commercial airline report to the US Department Department of Transportation, DOT. And what this is a table visual, and the exciting thing about this table visual is that Southwest Airline ranked 13 of 17, while we have Hawaii Airline ranking one of 17. Looking at the council, we can see Delta Airline and Republic Airline seems to have the highest number of cancellation. Also, looking at this daily traffic chart, 
I kind of find it interesting to know that on average, over 18,000 flights, commercial flights, fly the US sky daily. That is pretty massive. When we look at the flight delay for the period, we can see that uh, we, are, we have yet different delay reasons that was listed. We have the late arrival of aircraft, carrier delay, NAS delay, weather delay and security delay. We can see that late arrival has the highest rank. And I have an article here that I wrote that carefully explained the different reasons for delay. When you read up about it, I have it here and I will appreciate if you can check it out. It's pretty informative for you. So, I also have here delay by weekdays. Of course, it's only wise that Fridays, Sundays, and Mondays experience the highest number of delay. Then moving on to the Southwest Airline destination. So, I also find it shocking that they don't go to this location, South Dakota, North Dakota, West Virginia, New Jersey, and Vermont. If perhaps you have any clarification regarding why they don't go to these destinations, I will really, really appreciate it. Also, have here a flow map. I really like the way this map works because it kind of spreads spread like a tentacle across. So it shows where they go to from Florida to Georgia. Of course, we saw earlier that uh, Denver seems to be their biggest airport. So... I would like to see where they go to from Denver to Colorado. We can see that from Colorado, Denver, they will go to all of these destinations. So please, if you like this visual, kindly like and subscribe. Thank you so much.